Hello everyone, hello everybody out there. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to another video about all speaking cue card questions. In this video, I answered another all speaking cue card question and I prepared a sample answer for this by myself. First, let me briefly introduce myself. I am Gulora Muzaffarova, an English teacher from Uzbekistan and my current IELTS score is 8.5. And let me briefly show you, quickly show you my IELTS certificate. Yes, I showed it before also in other videos, but once again, for those who didn't see it, let me show it once once again, so I took the last time IELTS exam two years ago, it was 2018 and here as you can see I'm from Uzbekistan and these are my current test results. My listening score was 9, my reading score was also 9 and from the writing section I got 7.5 and my speaking score was 8 and my oral band score was 8.5. This equals to CFR level C2. In general I'm very happy with my current level. Okay, so let's go back, return to them. Let return to the speaking question. Let's dive into it. So here is the speaking question. Describe an interesting animal. And we have four sub questions. And our sub questions are what it looks like and when you saw it and where you saw it. And finally, you need to explain why it's interesting. And you know that you're given one minute to prepare your speech and you need to take advantage of this time and make a quick plan for your answer. This is my quick plan. I um, like jot it down before starting my speech. So I'm going to talk about pony. It looks like a horse, but it's much shorter than a horse. And I saw it in the zoo with my siblings. And it's a beautiful and friendly animal. So I'm going to talk about the three things in more detail in my speech. Here is a script of my speech. I've already recorded it for you and I've written down the script of it. At the same time, you can read and you can listen to my speech. So if you're ready, let's get started. I grew up in the countryside, thus I know different animals. All of them are interesting and they have their own peculiarities. But the most interesting animal I've ever seen is a pony. I saw a pony only a few times at the zoo and last time I visited the zoo with my little brother and sister we saw various animals like uh, mammals, reptiles and birds. But the one which impressed all of us greatly was a white pony. It was, it was such an extremely beautiful and cute animal that we spent a lot more time toward this animal than other animals. And we asked a lot of questions from a zookeeper about the pony, like its name, family members, favorite foods, natural habitat, and others. The, the, the zookeeper was a friendly person as he patiently answered all of our questions. Even he allowed to feed the ponies. Uh, what I learned from the zookeeper stories is that uh, ponies are small horses and they have different breeds. And um, the main differences from horses are that ponies often have thicker manes, tails and coat, and they have shorter legs, thicker necks and shorter heads with broad foreheads. They are they're by nature intelligent and friendly and children who are learning to ride can mount them if they are child friendly. In the past, they were domesticated and bred for various purposes, but I think in my country, in Uzbekistan, ponies are not kept as domestic or farm animals, as we can see them only in a zoo. Um, taking photos with ponies was the most exciting part, especially for my sister. She was jumping with joy while we took a photo of her with ponies. She was on a white pony in the photo. This little cute animal gave me and my siblings a lot of sweet memories, thus it is one of the animals I like best. This is the end of my speech. This is the end of my answer to the question. Now let's discuss words and expressions used in the speech together with the several grammar aspects which I used in my speech. Okay, the first word which I want to explain this is peculiarity. Peculiarity it means the quality of being strange or unfamiliar or an unusual characteristic or habit. So like it belongs to only one type or only one person or animal and it's its peculiarity it's called so example well we all have our little peculiarities don't we so it means we have our strange qualities which belong only to us 
Another way to which I want to explain this is mammal. Mammal is a type of animal uh, in which, like, animal of which the female gives birth to babies, not eggs, and feeds them on milk from her own body. For example, uh, examples here, humans, dogs, elephants and dolphins are all mammals, but birds, fish and crocodiles are not. So like, uh, humans are also considered um, mammals. So another word, this is reptile, it's again used to describe animals, and this is a type of animal which produces eggs and uses the heat of the sun to keep its blood warm. For example, like lizards are considered reptiles or tortoises, they are considered reptiles. So these are um, uh, terms which are used to describe different types of different families of animals. And the word, another word is zookeeper, which I used in my speech. Zookeeper is a person who works in a zoo and takes care of the animals. Let's continue. Breed. I use it several times in my speech. Breed, it has a verb form and it has a noun form. If it's a verb, it means to keep animals for the purpose of producing young animals in a controlled way. So breeding animals, it means keeping them and um, because your main purpose is to produce young animals. So example, his main income comes from breeding cattle. If it's a noun, it means a particular type of animal or plant. For example, a breed of dog, a breed of cat, a breed of horse, a breed of sheep or cattle. So it means a type of, a particular type of animal or plant. And um, I used the word mane while I was describing a pony. And mane, it means long and thick hair that grows along the top of a horse's neck and around the face and neck of a lion. So mane is a hair of a horse or lions. So the uh, ponies are child friendly, I mentioned in my speech. So child friendly, it means suitable for children and not harming children. The book provides child friendly definitions of mathematical words. So child friendly, it means suitable and not harming children. Domesticate. This word is also used to describe animals. It means to bring animals or plants under human control in order to provide food, power or companionship. Example. Dogs were probably the first animals to be domesticated. So if animals are domesticated, they are under human control and they start like kind of living with humans and they're controlled by humans. So we have a lot of domestic animals and in the past they used to be wild animals and they were once domesticated and they become domestic animals. Now let's discuss grammar features used in the speech. I want to explain two grammar aspects in my speech. The first one is the most interesting animal I have ever seen. So we usually use present perfect tense, like I have ever seen, with a superlative degree of an adjective to emphasize the uniqueness of something. And also don't forget to use the word ever. For example, the most interesting film I have ever seen or the farthest country I have ever visited. So when you use superlative degree of an adjective plus noun plus present perfect, you want to emphasize that the experience or object or something was unique. So it's the most interesting film you have ever seen. And there is no other film which is more interesting than this one you have seen. Or the farthest country. This is the farthest country you have ever visited. You haven't been any farther countries. Okay, another expression which I used in my speech was what I learned from the zookeeper stories is. So that's a relative clause. What I learned from the zookeeper stories is it's a relative clause and relative question word what can be used at the beginning of a sentence as part of a subject. So in this sentence, the subject is what I learned from the zookeeper stories and the verb is is. So we have a long subject in this sentence. All the examples. What I want from you is your attention. Here in this sentence also. What I want from you is the subject. Is is the verb here. So we have a long subject and a short verb. So this is all which I wanted to describe, to talk about, to explain in this video. Thank you very much for watching it. If you like the video, please support me by subscribing to my channel. And also please don't forget to hit the like button and the notification bell. Also, share the video with people who are studying for IELTS. Thank you very, very much for watching the video. And if you like the video, once again, please support me by subscribing to my channel. And see you in the next video. Bye-bye.